Hello and welcome to the Supercast. I'm your host, Superintendent Anthony Godfrey. Some say he is one of the coolest teachers on campus, and his lessons push students to achieve their highest potential in the gym and in life. On this episode of the Supercast, we take you to Ridgeview Elementary School to find out why physical education teacher Taylor Wright seems to really have the right stuff when it comes to getting students excited, engaged, and out of their comfort zones to do their very best. Alright, now do big waves, big waves, big waves, big waves. It's a workout, it's a workout. Stop, just look, look. Alright, we're gonna go up when I say up. Okay, I'm gonna say put the hands up and we're gonna go up. We are on the backfield of Ridgeview Elementary School with Taylor Wright, physical education teacher extraordinaire. Thanks for spending time with us today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm, it's an honor to be here. Uh, tell me about the activity that we just witnessed. That was a total blast just to watch those first graders having so much fun with you out here. Yes, sir. Well, the parachute, we, we've been doing it all day. and. We, we, I've done it with most of the, of the young kids. Sometimes, you know, things get off the rotation schedule or so forth, but um, the kids love this and, and the game that, 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 that we play at the end, the kids love as well. So um, I, it, it's awesome. It, it teaches them to work together and it also teaches them, you know, uh, to, it's a, it's a good workout. It's actually a good workout. So. What I thought was really cool about it is they're having so much fun, they forget that they're actually exercising. Yes, I need to figure out how to do that for myself to yes, forget sir. that I'm exercising. But you, you made it so much fun for them, so engaging and interactive. They're talking with each other, they're having a great time, and they're getting a break from being in the classroom, yes, which sir. I think prepares them to be even more effective as they're learning at their desk. Yes sir. yes, sir. And you know, as you know, there's a lot of studies that show that a certain amount of movement every day is good for your brain. So, um, you know, and, and this one is, this one is stuff that hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll never forget. I, I, like you said, you, when you walked in, you knew that you remember the parachute. And, I remember the parachute. And I remember the parachute. And I try to do stuff that, you know, that, that they'll remember and that, you know, if they ever, that, this would be hard to do with your family, but, right, this, but, right. but, but this is kind of a, uh, but I always try to do stuff that if I was a student in my class, I would enjoy and, and I would look back fondly upon and, and actually could, could do with, with my own family. So that's, that's what I try to think about. I have to say that you have taken the parachute experience to the next level. <laughs> yes, I think sir. all we did is we lifted the parachute, climbed under it, and then tucked it under and sat down yes, on sir. it. Yes, sir. But yes, you, sir. you had this game where they're running around trading places, and it's a rainbow parachute, very large. Yes, sir. Uh, listeners can probably picture there are handles on the outside, so each student has a handle. Yes, sir. And they're by a color. So yes, then you call out blue, and everybody lifts the parachute, and the blues run around and trade places. Yes, sir. And then, you know, they get their spot, and they race around the outside sometimes, like a duck-duck-goose almost. Yes, sir. And it's yeah. so engaging, and they're just having a great time every second. You seem to be having a great time every second as well. Yes, sir. This is, and I've told you this, this is, I, I, I don't like missing school. I, I, I never miss because I love the kids. I mean, it's such an awesome atmosphere here. Um, Ms. Doliak, um, everybody. Um, I, I needed help filling some, some, some balls with air earlier, which I was using all day, and, and the um, our maintenance guy, Scott, uh, went out of his way to help me. It's just such a, um, it, it's just, I, I can't explain, and I've told you this, and I, I get emotional talking about it, just, it's just such an unbelievable place to work, and I've, it's, it's very person-centered, very student-centered, and uh, it's real, you know, and, and it makes my life, it, I mean, honestly, Miss uh, Meredith, our, our principal, will tell you, like, I, I get sad when we have long times off, you know, I, I really enjoy, <laughs> yeah. I enjoy being here. So. I love that, and it's yes, obvious sir. in the way that you interact with the students, and I, I've talked with you over the years, you've come up to me and talked about how much you love what you do. And it's really exciting to see it firsthand for the first time. I, I feel like every day I have to up my. If I had, we had fun last time, I, I don't want it to be lower, so I want to keep it going. So you do fun. have a lot. You, you have about 30 feedback machines right yes, over sir. there that yes, will sir. tell you yes, whether it's working or not yes, immediately. Sir. Immediately, yes, sir. Uh, well, it certainly is working today, and uh, every video I've seen and every time I've interacted, it's it's obvious to me yes, uh, how much you care about the kids and and providing them yes, with an unforgettable experience. Now, you have not always taught elementary. You taught secondary before. Yes, sir. Yes, Tell sir. Tell me about that experience compared with this one. Yes, sir. Well, so I started my career as a high school teacher. I, I, didn't, I got into football coaching. I, I coached at several colleges and then 
um, I, I got back into teaching and, and middle school and things. And then, uh, you know, th 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 this, this is the best. This is the best job I've ever had. You know, and, and I've been. I worked at the, you know, off the field at the University of Wyoming. I, I worked at Central Missouri. I, I taught high school, like you said, for, for three years. And I had a wonderful relationships. I still have, um, you, you know, you know, uh, students are. Um, you know, players I coached re reach out to me. You know, years later, I started teaching back in 2009. So, so all those things I love. I'm thankful for that. But this is the best teaching job I ever had. To teach elementary school kids is is, is the absolute <laughs> mecca of, yeah. of, of of this for me. I, I mean, I, I get to, I, I, Miss Mara, tell you, I, I go in there at lunch every day and talk to. Them. I I literally just enjoy interacting with them. You know, you know, making jokes, messing with them, just having that feel. All these kids know me really well, and, and that's. I, you know, I, the, the relationships you can, you can build with students at any level are great, and, and, and they're different. Secondary, you know, you know, kids can are, are more you know able to understand things of that nature. But but yeah. here, you, you can if someone's sad, you know, and I talk to them, it, it, can, it can it can help their day. I mean, yeah. And, and I and I do try to teach them. And, and I tell you what, our school is so great. I mean, I, I was teaching a class earlier, and um, I, I I remember it was a kindergarten class, and 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 so we were doing an activity. And I was like, okay, guys, it's going to be difficult. It was this parachute activity. I was like, I wonder if you can do it. And, and, and someone yelled out, I, I can do hard things, or we, we can do hard things. And, <laughs> I and, 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 and I love that. I love, and so, so, the, so I try to, you know, teach them that, like, the, the, the process of, of doing something is to, to just, just be the best version of yourself and, and do it that way and, and not even worry about, like, you know, if we win or lose or how we just, just focus in the moment and do our best. And I'm telling you, like, um, it, it's been the greatest job I've ever had. So well, you, you are a that. huge positive impact on these students. And you have the advantage of getting to know every student in every this school. Student. Yes, sir. And this is a huge school. Yes, sir. It we're over well over a thousand students. Yes, sir. For those who are listening here yes, at Ridgeview, and we are splitting the school next year to fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, going to another yes, sir. building, yes, sir. and we'll still have K three here, and you'll be here. Yes, sir. At Ridgeview, I'll be here. I'll be here. Uh, yes, continuing sir. these great activities. Yes, sir. I'll be um, here. Tell me, what do you hope that students take away from their time in PE classes with you? You know, the, the, the thing I try to hope that they take, you know, people, that there's a saying, uh, my Angelo, but, but other people say it, you know, no one remembers uh, what you said or did, they, they remember how you made them feel. So I, I hope they remember someone who, who had a positive attitude, who always came um, ready to be a beacon of, of good energy. And, and, and just really, you know, I, I think the kids know, because I'm always playing, like, like every game I have, I'm participating with the kids. I mean, that, that sounds crazy, but I, I literally, I, I, I'll either referee or, or I'll play part of the game, and 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 I and I, and I hope I hope that, that that they just know that um that like you, you know you know th th this is how you live you you you, 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 you live by by, by 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 just enjoying yourself and, and also just participating, be, be, being an active um, participant in in what you're doing. Just 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 put all your energy in what you're doing at that given moment. No, nothing else matters. You're, you're living in the present, and, 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 and that's that's where the juice of life is, I think. And, and I hope that the kids know that. And I think a lot of them kind of a little bit do. So, yeah, oh, yes, absolutely. You are tapping into to that that feeling in elementary students where they're they're making the most of the moment yes, sir. and putting yeah. their whole selves into what they exactly. do. It exactly. is, I, I, I had to step away for a phone call for a second. Yes, sir. Important decision, talking with a couple of people. We came to the decision. And I walked right back to the joy. Yes, I'm like, yes, I, I wanted to get off that phone call as fast as I could to get yes, back sir. to that to yes, that sir. group of kids interacting yes, with you and having a great time out yes, here. Now, yes, you, you have a lot of space here. Yes, You've sir. also got a big hill. Have you been able to use the hill to your advantage? You, you, you know what? So, so the, 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 recess, the, the recess usually stays on this area. We, we do play a game on this hill right here. So this oh, hill, yeah. Yeah, okay. yes, sir. We'll, we'll play a game where, where I, I'll tell a story. It, the, the kids, little kids, love things like even even more than this. They, a lot of times they'll they'll, they'll they'll like stories and things that you make up. Yeah. And so we we, we play a game called called uh, Bullet Burst. I'll tell a story, and it usually involves them, and it'll usually involve somehow they're they're a name, we, 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 which is what they really care about. And as I'm telling it, it'll be like, okay, I I took Miss um, Miss Hatch's first grade class outside. We were outside. We, we we heard something. We heard a boom. And I looked to my left. I looked to my right. And it was a bullet burst, and then the kids have to run up the hill, touch the <laughs> fence, yell "woo," and then come back and sit down. And, and, and of course, you, 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 I don't want to be the last one to, to get down. So oh, we, we, yeah. we, we actually do play the hill here, and the kids love it. And, and games like that, the kids will 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 will, will request that uh, a lot. So, yeah. yes, sir. It's it's. Uh... I can only imagine how fast they are running and how hard they are trying not to be the last one yes, to run and sit down. Yes, One, two, three, up!
All right, down, 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 down. Sit on it, sit on it, sit on it. You gotta sit on it. Stay with us when we come back. More with Taylor Wright and his students. Are you looking for a job right now? Looking to work in a fun and supportive environment with great pay and a rewarding career? Jordan School District is hiring. We're currently filling full and part-time positions. You can work and make a difference in young lives and education as a classroom assistant or a substitute teacher. Apply to work in one of our school cafeterias, where our lunch staff serves up big smiles with great food every day. We're also looking to hire custodians and bus drivers. In Jordan School District, we like to say, people come for the job and enjoy the adventure. Apply today at employment.jordandistrict.org. My level of exercise is generally walking from the car to a conference room. Yes, sir. Uh, but I believe that you are getting quite a bit of exercise just as a part of your day. Well, Tell me about your 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 how you feel at yes, the sir. end of the day. I, I, I feel it. So everyone knows me, and you know I work with folks with special needs when, I, when, I'm, when I'm not teaching. So a lot of times yeah. I'll leave and go there. And I'm telling you, I always feel like I, 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 I had a, a hit exercise, high intensity, because I, I, I do this all day. And this is actually light. Um, but I, but I love it. It helps me and the kids. Like I said, if you can, and get, if you're willing to play with the kids and actually get out there and do that, it amps everything up. The kids yeah. really enjoy that, and, and, and I love it. I I, I, I wouldn't want to. Well, what, what you do, your organization, your ability to, to lead, the, 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 the tone that you said is world class. I, I I like getting out here, and, you know, and doing this kind of stuff. You know, you you have a much bigger picture perspective, and, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And and and, 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 and your, your vision and leadership is unparalleled. We're talking now with some of the first grade students in Coach Wright's class. Uh, tell me your name and tell me what you love most about Coach Wright's class. My name's Motley, and what I like about most of Coach Wright's class is that he makes up fun games. What's one of the best games that you play in his in his class? Everyone. Everything. All of them are fun. Yeah. Okay. How about you? My name's Giselle, and I love I love Shark Attack. Shark Attack. How does Shark Attack work? <laughs> well, you have to have a stick, and you have to tag somebody, and then and then yeah, and then they and then they have to sit down, and and whoever gets a ball, then then they get then they have to stand up. <clears throat> that sounds fun. <clears throat> How about you? My name's Aaron, and I love playing jump the rope. Jump the rope? How does that work? You have to jump like a rope. You hold it in each hand and flip it around, and you jump when it hits the ground? How many times can you do it in a row? Twenty. Twenty? That's pretty awesome. My name's Penelope, and my favorite thing to play with Coach Wright is Bullet Burst. And what's Bullet Burst? Is that the one with the story? Cooler. Yeah, with the story, and when you say Bullet Burst, we go up there and see who's the first one who gets down the hill. <laughs> what is it like having Coach Wright for a teacher? What's he like? Um, great. Giselle, what's Coach Wright like? He is mostly fun and nice. <clears throat> Aaron, what's Coach Wright like? He's fun. He's the really nice, and he's the best teacher. Tell me, tell me about the stories that he uses in class. Like when we're playing the game ball at first, he says sometimes he uses our names. He like tells a little funny jokes, and when he says, um, when he's at the end, he just yells. And then you run as fast as you can. Yeah, and then we see who can get down the, the fastest. You guys think you can outrun him? Yeah. Oh, you can, huh? Yeah. Okay, you guys are pretty fast. I've done it before. Me too. You've we run, did a fun you, run with a teacher. I did, I did the most laps in my whole class. Oh, how many laps was that? Ten. You did ten laps? Yeah. The most of your class, huh? Yeah. And you beat Coach Wright? He didn't do it. <laughs> oh, he didn't do that one. Yeah, okay. he didn't do the fun one. Thanks for talking with me, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks for joining us on another episode of the Supercast. Remember, 
Education is the most important thing you will do today. We'll see you out there.